My name is Bronwyn Karsh. I'm Chief Operating Officer at the Cape Chamber of Commerce. I have a team of three staff members and together with them I make sure that our communications, technology and our special projects are run on time, on budget and within the expectations of our members. The Cape Chamber has launched the Dispute Settlement Centre which is becoming increasingly important for our businesses out there, particularly businesses that are exporting. There's an enormous amount of uncertainty for business at the moment and having the surety of a dispute settlement clause which is available on our website to download for free gives business a lot more surety in how they do business. Litigation is costly, it's time consuming and can be a huge risk for business. Mediation and arbitration is by far the better way to go. The dispute settlement centres can handle anything from labour disputes right the way through to multi-million dollar international arbitrations. We have a team of accredited arbitrators and mediators and everybody at the Chamber and without the Chamber should know about it and be using it. One of the most important roles for the Chamber of Commerce, any Chamber of Commerce and particularly the Cape Chamber of Commerce, is to make sure that businesses' voice is heard. We have to send a strong message both to local, national and international listeners and the media helps us do that. Our comms department has great relationships with uh, media and we get the, the message out there on behalf of the business. The Cape Chamber website is growing and changing every day. We're adding new technology as we go along. One of the key benefits is being able to engage with the Chamber and your fellow Chamber members and we urge our members to actually get involved and become more engaging on the website. We also have a procurement portal which is incredibly exciting for our members. There are over 20,000 companies on that procurement portal at the moment and it's a way for companies to access tender information and to sign and close deals. Cape Chamber TV is a great way to become more involved and engaged with the community out there. The live streaming options allows an innovative approach for companies who are sponsoring and working with the Chamber. Social media is incredibly important for our members. It's a great way for them to engage with the Chamber and their fellow members and a greater audience out there. Our Facebook page is doing very well, we urge you to like it. And Twitter is doing exceptionally well, we're having some fabulous conversations. Get tweeting with us. We're also moving into the LinkedIn space and this is very important for our portfolio committees. Good day, I'm Paul Diedrichs, the Financial Manager of the Cape Chamber. Together with my three staff, we are responsible for the day-to-day -day running and recording of the financial affairs of the Chamber. Yeah, we're also responsible for keeping our cash flow on a in a positive position and as such we appeal to our members to make sure that subscriptions are paid on time. Please feel free to contact us anytime any of your contact details change, especially your contact person so that we can keep our database updated. Yes, wishing everybody a positive working relationship in 2014. I'm the Business Information Manager and the type of services that we offer is the portfolio committees, a business advice, international trade and a certification. We also put the responsible for the representation role which is through our portfolio committees. Businesses constantly contact us uh, on any uh, you know, business related matters, should it be um, on reg regulations or legislation, um, you know, um, any concerns that they may, might have and our professional team can obviously uh, provide clarity or advice and guidance uh, for them. There is a lot of incoming delegations so we try to facilitate that international linkage uh, for our members etc and then the certification side of it is extremely busy. We issue certificates of origin which is necessary for exports to most countries. We're also responsible for the EDF, the Enterprise Development Fund, which just the Chamber has where uh, businesses who want to add points onto their scorecard in terms of enterprise development can put money into the fund and then we do the enterprise development on their behalf. I think members often forget that we are there and that we have this resources there that can provide them with the business advice. And I'm the marketing and events manager at the Chamber. I have three very energetic and lovely staff members in the marketing department. The marketing department does uh, training workshops, also networking opportunities like breakfast and so on, um, and annual major events like International Women's Day, the City Meets Chamber, doing business in Africa and so on. I'm responsible for the membership and sales department 
and I have three staff members assist me there. They're mainly responsible for getting a new membership and maintaining the existing membership. I'm responsible for the branches. Uh, we have four branch administrators at the moment and a supervisor and we have nine different branches. If you've not attended any of our training workshops or networking events, I'd like to encourage you to do so. If you need any more information, please contact me or one of the branches. Chamber team is here to help you. Please engage with us. Get in touch with us. If you have an issue, let us know. We're here to help you and we're here to make the chamber great. We need your help, we need you to be involved, we need you to be active members of the Chamber. We thank you for your time and we hope that you've enjoyed this AGM with us.